So now we have another speaker. So Chris, where are you? Chris? <laughs> so as we all know, it's now is year 2011 and is the 100th birthday of Taiwan. So Chris is going to tell us the 100 year lifestyle. Let's welcome him. Good evening. Are we on? Okay, so um, six months ago I stood here. I gave a speech. I shit myself. Um, I was talking about financial systems and how our ideas <laughs> prevent us from making money. Um, and I kept running out of time. Uh, time is this really precious resource that we don't have enough of. And that's why we make bad financial decisions as well. Um, everybody tonight mentioned time. And while I've been writing this speech, I've had this song in my head. Um, because the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking all the time. Time is running out. And um, see, these kids here, they don't know that. They think they can just goof off, play football, take it easy. Because one day is like, it's like 100 years. It's a lifetime. Yeah? And they can just keep playing. But you're getting older and you're growing up. And as you get older, when you get to like 18, 19, and you're trying to envision forwards, and you have this idea that, you know, maybe one day, this is me, 19, one day I'm going to be 21. And it's so far away. And then you're 21. And it's like, okay, so next is 25. 25, okay, I can maybe imagine that. And then 25, and I'm thinking about, my God, 30. Yeah? And 30's coming. And a puppy chews up your passport. <laughs> and you have to cancel a trip. Right? So you think you're in control, but you're not. And you start getting doubt and fear and you have to start running faster because now you're 40 and you haven't saved the world and you haven't saved enough to retire. <laughs> and the fear is growing, the fear is coming because you can see 50. It's right there and it's coming towards you. And behind 50, 60. And after 60, retirement. And that's it. Your life is over. Uh-huh. So you start quoting Dylan Thomas. Hang on, let me find it. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. It's a song of terror, right? I'm terrified because these kids, they're my high school students. When I retire with not enough money, they will be running the world. And I know these kids, they're idiots. So I'm panicking, I'm looking for a way out. I'm looking for technology. <laughs> Have you seen these? This is 3D printing. They grow cells in the lab, human cells, and they print new organs. And this is really happening now. They can replace your heart. This is happening today. But actually, it's no good if you have the wrong lifestyle. You need to do these things. And if you do these things, you can live into your 90s and be active and healthy and keep working. Look at this guy, you know who this is? Vladimir Putin, president of Russia. 60 years old, he is not retiring anytime soon. He's gonna keep going, okay? He's got his army of people taking care of him, takes care of himself. This is his retirement. This is not the retirement I want. Retirement is really bad for you. That's what switches off your brain and then you die. And two out of three Americans don't have enough money saved for retirement. So let's forget that idea. Let's talk about this instead. This is going to happen in my lifetime. Not my kids. It's not the next generation. It's me. And the oil is going to run out. And the United States is going to go bankrupt. And China is going to invade Taiwan. <laughs> and this, designed on a computer, goes to this machine and it comes out looking like this and it's a real moving toy. Manufacturing is dead. You know this website, Kickstarter? This is a different kind of economics. This is a 3D printer and it costs $500 and he raised $800,000 in a month for this new idea without going to venture capitalists. So right now I'm like this guy. Do you remember this guy? This is Roy. You can see your death is coming, and I've only got 
five more decades before it happens. And I'm going to see the collapse of civilization, environmental destruction, all kinds of crazy changes. So I need to create the 100-year lifestyle. The 100-year lifestyle is a new way of living that enables me to keep going for 50 years more. And it's not just about health. It's about social organization, economics, how we make money, how we make stuff, the technology we use, our relationships with our students, because I'm not giving them control. I'm going to do a Putin. 